guys, um, it's time. It's actually time to go to the back side of this page. But I think I go first to the cover. So I know exactly how many design paper I have left. I do have quite a lot left, but I first want to do the cover. Um, just in case. So how do I calculate that? Um, well, first I'm just going to lay all the pages on top of each other. So this is actually what it needs. So it's straight. But you're going to add pictures on, so you need to count more space for that. So if I put this on the bottom and I watch on the side how much it is, it's straight 1 3 4 Let's say 2 if I added another page on here with a little book. Alright, so let's say we need it straight 2 inches. We need to make on the inside cover and the backside cover also a page, even if it's a small pocket or a big pocket. It needs a little book. So if I would do this, I definitely count a half inch extra for the inside covers. So that's two and a half. If I want some space for photos, then I want to count another inch for it. Uh, half inch inch. So that leaves me for at least a three inches. At least. Now I have, how many pages do I have? One, two, three, four pages. Four pages. That leaves me one, one, two, three, four. So that leaves me half inch away. If I do a 3 inch, I think a 3 inch will do okay. But I like the secureness of safety. So I go for 3.5. Yep, I think so. 3.5. Yep, I'm just going to do that. 3.5. I do like a big spine. That's for the spine I want. Now, if you just grab one page. Put this away. We need this half inch we used for the spine, for the gusset, for the extra flatness of the pages. So we need that space. Now we have a tunnel, so you want to add perhaps your inserts a little out. So you want to count that out too. So that leaves me... Well, nine, I think it's too much. I'm gonna see how my chipboard is. Eight, seven, eight. Oh, I think that's cool. I do have a piece of chipboard for you guys that will fit an eight, seven, eight. That's actually perfect. You can do a 9, but your chipboard in your kit is an uh, 878 inch. Alright, and the length. I need to grab my chipboard for that. It's a 7.5. Perfect. Yes, 7.5. Alright, buy 7.5. If the kit buyers, you have that same size so you already have that size i'm going to cut my chipboard for you for all all the kits i'm going to cut that chipboard for you guys in 878 by seven and a half so that's the size for that in a three and a half spine so you if you have buy the kit you don't have to need anything you don't need a big cutter to cut your Chipboard, your covers. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do, and then we're gonna make the cover. Cool. The cover. Okay, for the not kit buyers, <laughs> I give you the measurements. Um, the big chipboard is eight seven eight by seven and a half inch. You need two pieces, and in centimeters is two and two and a half by nineteen centimeters. 
The spine is three and a half by seven and a half inch and in centimeter eight point eight or nine by nineteen centimeters. All right, so that are the measurements. So let's do it. Cool. Okay, what I'm gonna use for the base cover is three white pages. Same pages as I did used for the pages. So nothing as uh, contact paper, no uh, tie vac, no fancy stuff, just paper. It will do. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these three pages in the correct size. Because these are too long. So, please stay all together. Alright, so I am going to count at least the one inch away and then half uh, one inch away from here. So, it's just eyeball it. Alright, so I'm going to cut these off. And then I'm going to attach these three on each other with double sided tape and if I do my tape nicely around the edge then I can use my tape as my guide line peel that off and attach the first one You don't see the tape underneath. Alright, one more. this side on the inside because this is a little with the tape overlap so I'm just choosing the best side all right now I'm gonna see where my chipboard is going and oh that's perfect that's just perfect this fits perfect with three pages that's cool yep that's cool now what I'm going to do is, the first thing I like to do is add some double sided tape all the way around my chipboard and then when I'm going to add my chipboard I'm going to use also some glue on the inside. You also can use, perhaps that's even better all the way chipboard and you have absolutely no bubbles that's an option you can you can use all the way tape I think I'm gonna do that instead of using yeah you know me I am used to using contact paper so I am loving using tape now you can use a small one but you also can use the bigger one if you have that you don't have to buy it even double sided tape you don't have to buy it it's handy I really can recommend that but you don't have to you don't have to use it now I'm going to do this with all these three chipboards and when I'm done, I come back to it. 
to you but burnish this down if you are ready you even can use glue guys you can if you are certain that your glue is not gonna bubble on your papers then you can just use glue all right so i'm gonna do this with all these pieces and then i'll come back to you to glue it on okay guys i'm done so let's peel off all the double-sided tape and if you want to search for double-sided tape that's wider you can search for that on Google Google will find everything for you Alright, so let's get started with the first one. I like to have a complete inch all the way around. I'm just gonna add it. Alright, let's go to the next the next one. Now, keep the space, guys, at least, at least a one-fourth or a half centimeter, six millimeters. Keep your distance in between these. I'm always going to eyeball it, but you can measure that like I just did. Keep your distance in between. That's the magic. Please keep an eye on that. Otherwise, your spine is going to be cracking. You need the space. I see so much questions on Facebook coming, coming every day. And guys, it's the space. It's the space. It's no need on any material that you use. You need the space. That's the magic. All right, need space. Here we go. Now I'm going to turn this around and then I'm going to apply my tape nicely on my paper. So nice. All right, next step is cut your corners. And some of you have a template for that. I don't need that. I'm just going to keep away, two millimeters away from this point right here. So I am just eyeball this and I'm just keep my distance here. So not too wide, not too short. You can cut it down. millimeters is wide enough. All right. Now, next, we are going to work with the papers. Let the papers work a little. So what I'm going to do with my bone folder, I don't have a too tight bone folder. This, I do love this one because it's not, not too sharp, not too tight. You can use anything for this, even a nice ruler or something. You have to work your papers. Okay, now be gentle doing this. Even you can use something like this to bend it gently, not too tight. Just work with your papers. Let your papers gently get the right shape. And each time you go further, further forward. So you can bend it all the way. And now it's ready. Alright, 
watch this. See? It's nice. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just to make sure that it's nicely attached. I'm going to use some double sided tape on the chipboard and on the end of this flap. You also can use just glue, whatever you prefer. And I'm going to take this loose like that and then I'm going to use my arc little glue. Yep, here we go. Just a little, just a little piece against the chipboard. Here we go. And then again, start in the middle, hold it, and take your paper around it. Now, still when the glue is wet, be gentle with this guys, be gentle. Just take something smooth and make sure that the glue is nicely on the chipboard with this paper. So you have a nice square piece of chipboard. Here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna do exactly the same on this side. Then I'll come back to you. Okay, so let's go to the sides. Now you will see, you will see this little piece coming out. You will see that. I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm just going to take this in, like that. Alright, so I'm going to take my bone fold and I'm just taking the corner, like that. Same here, take the corner. That's it. Then, you're going to do exactly the same. Put some tape on here, if you have tape. On the flap. And again, work your papers nicely. Here we go again and start in the middle, push. That's it. And then the corners are nicely tied in. And if there is something pointing out, you just can take it away. Alright, again on this side, be gentle. But then you have a nice side look. Alright, so that is exactly what I'm going to do on this side too. Let's do this together. Oh, I forgot something. I'm not forgetting something. Sometimes I want to go too fast. Not meaning to, but yeah, yeah, I don't want to waste too much time for you guys to watch me, but yep, 
It takes time. <laughs> I know that. All right. Cool. Yeah, all right. This I did cut a little too short, but you will not see that when it's done. All right, so now we go to the spine. Take your bone folder, be gentle, and squeeze that in. So if you fold this down, this can be fold all over and that is why we need that space in between because this is going to be in that makes it working see no cracking at all so you can use any paper for a cover you can but i'm not done of course i'm not done with this <laughs> we're gonna work something out nicely all right so this is the base for the cover Okay, the base cover we will put aside. We are going to make three elements for the cover too. Okay, so in your kit you will find three thinner chipboard pieces. And they are, these measurements are for the nut kit buyers. If you want us to make this exactly the same thing. I cut my tin chipboard and you can use this with a pizza boxes or other cereal um, boxes save those you can use you can use that tin chipboard for this one um, so in inches is eight and a half by seven one fourth or in centimeters 21.8 by 18.3 centimeters I have to check that because in centimeters it's always a little different 21 and a half see i was thinking that is not correct 21 and a half all right 21 and a half yep that it is by 18.3 yes that's correct all right so in centimeters it's 21 and a half by 18.3 centimeters you need these measurements two times and then for the spine three and one fourth by seven one fourth inch in centimeters is eight by 18.3 centimeters so this is for the upper cover all right so save my note so what i'm gonna do in your kit you will find a few copies that are these now I hope I have enough. Well, actually I do because I only have to cover the 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 the, blah, 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 the sides. So for two you will have enough. If you want to cover these all up, then I don't have enough for the spine. But you only need strips to use. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut these pages, I'm going to cut the white edges off so my copy page, which I collaged myself and copied for you guys, I'm going to cut a nice piece of paper with all the white edges off and now I am gonna well I only need the side to wrap in so I think one inch will do so I'm just gonna cut a few strips one inch Right. 
If you want to use another uh, piece of paper, then that's totally up to you. But I like to use this one. Alright, it's different. Yeah, I know, it's totally different than we are used to. Alright, so let's see. Let's wrap this around. So what I'm going to do, we have a smooth side and a not smooth side. So I'm going to use first my double sided tape. All the way around. See how that works. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do, it's just a trial, guys. I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm just gonna see what. The meaning is that I'm gonna wrap this around. So, well, perhaps I can this on here so I know where the middle is perhaps it's better I have no clue I'm just doing something just trying to see what's best what's the best way I have no clue guys I'm <laughs> just go with the flow just go with the flow Alright, now is it needed to fold this over or can I just put these on top? No clue. Yeah, I know I added already some tape. I knew. I knew. I'm just gonna see guys. This is the first one I do, so perhaps the next one. I'm going to do it differently, but for now, I'm just continuing with these papers. Yep, still cool. Well, this is odd to use the same image. I'm going to use this one. Now, let's see how this works. Again, I am gonna stay away a little from the corner. There we go. Alright, now, oh, this is because it's a copy. This will smooch a little. So each time if you want to, if you finish this, wash your hands. All right, um, yeah, let's just start again. Same thing, wrap this around. I'm so curious how this will look. So these are gonna be dirty, but it's a bag. So that's okay. That's okay. Piece, I am gonna use tape. Yeah. All right. And go to this side. Oh. Use some 
tape. It's better. For me, it's better. Super excited. You can tell that when I'm quiet. <laughs> I am a bit more quiet now because I have no idea how this ends, guys. I have no clue. Alright, this looks pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, same thing. Just squeeze a bit these in. Alright, let's see if that's enough to have a nice fold. If you don't like these ones, you can cut this out. It's a little too much bulk, I think. All right. Use your glue or tape, whatever you like to use. Just I think the cutting off those little pieces that's a good thing to do yeah I like it all right so the first thing I'm gonna do with this one is cut off this little piece right here then again make this nice flat let me cut this off too Make this flat. Flat it is. I do have that little cut off right here. Should have not done that. Wait just a sec. What am I doing here? Taking tape on, but not far enough. We'll take it down. Yep, here we go. Nice to that edge. Cool. And here, so I'm gonna push some glue in there. Okay, that is that for the first one. That's not bad. That's cool. And of course, we are going to use. Um, and I think I'm going to use several ones, perhaps even a black one first, or a white one, just to give it an extra pop-up. So you only see a little piece. That's the main way. You can even make it a little bigger if you want. That's also nice. You can use white. Lots of options. Alright, so I'm going to do this exactly same method with the other one. The meaning is it webs around. So, yeah. Cool. Cool. I like it. That's awesome. Alright, so yes, this is what I'm going to do with the other ones. And I'll be back to you in just a sec. Okay, so when I'm done, it looks like this. And my fingers are looking like this. <laughs> so please wash your hands if you are using the same dye. Like I said, this album is weird, weird uh, experimental things. And yeah, guys, it's needed. I love experimenting things and see how it all works. If it works out, if it doesn't. 
and I'm just going to take you along with me. <laughs> Not gonna do a try out. No, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. This time I don't. Okay, they are clean enough. Let it dry and then we go further. Let's see what we're going to do on the cover. Clean. Cool. Next. In your kit, you will find this image, which I painted myself. <laughs> you're gonna love it, you're gonna hate it. It's just, yeah, I, I looked on a picture on uh, Pinterest and I saw that and I tried to paint that too. And that is the result and I wanna use it. I want to use it and perhaps I want to use it in the album, but I thought I want to use it front. Just to, yeah, then you will <laughs> have a scrap queen design. <laughs> so the first thing that I like to do is I'm going to add a black piece on here. So that is the first thing, so it pops up a little bit more. Alright, so let's get started with this piece right here. All the way around, nice edge. You still see that nice black and white on the back now this is boring of course so i think i like to add a nice purple frame you don't need exactly complete using that so i'm gonna cut i think a one inch piece all the way around so I'm just going to use some strips. Yeah, I'm the strip queen. <laughs> that sounds a little awkward, but you know what I mean. So I'm just going to add this piece on the bottom. Forget to smudge. Take your time, guys. This is the cover, so you need to take your time for that. Here we go. Here we go. First start. On the bottom, then we go to the top piece. Push. Right. I even think that we are going to do something on the spine extra underneath. I have no clue if you already perhaps think or know what I'm gonna do. Well, of course you're not gonna know what I'm gonna do because you saw the walkthrough already. Yeah. You know that. Alright, so now we go to the inner pieces. These are definitely too small and I don't wanna do too much leftover scrap things. So I'm just gonna cut another piece. That fits exactly in here. So this needs to cut down exactly the good size. Alright. Oh, not my fingers. My fingers don't have to be glued down. Just a little small edge of that black. You don't have to be completely black. Just 
this piece. The cover is making the album. You know that, don't you? And if you are not satisfied with your cover, please do it all over. Otherwise, you never gonna like it. Just redo it till you are satisfied. Ooh, I think this looks amazing. I like the purple on the back. Yes, I do. All right, so I'm gonna switch my image so I put this on a white edge ooh perhaps let's see you know I like to lay down layers I do like layers This can use just a little, yep, that does. All right. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, I am gonna glue, I'm gonna make another layer. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a very, very sturdy cover. But it's all about Contrast that is all right. Just a little black edge. Now let's see if I still can cut this out. I can just a small match. That does it. Yeah, this is better. Oh wow. Alright, let's bring it back. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. If you don't like it, but I do. I absolutely love it. So I am going to do exactly the same on the back. Um, so for the back also, 
black, black, and then I think the same purple. I think, yep, that's that's a nice unit. And then I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do for um, for the back. But first I'm gonna do black, black, and then I'm going back to you. All right, I do love it. Ooh, cool. <laughs> Okay, I am almost at my final design. Um, so this is what I used for the spine. And I was searching for all the papers that I have left, which one will fit for the last part. Do I like uh, small pieces? Do I like patchwork? And which color do I like? And I think I, I'm gonna use this pink one. So what I'm gonna do, because I want it to have it equal, I'm just gonna make this piece of pink exactly the same, almost the same size. So it's a little the same. All right, so let's cut this piece. Smooch the edges. Put it on some white, white piece. Da -da. All right, and then this goes here. I think, yeah, I do love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. If you like to choose any other design paper, then of course, it's yours. It's your choice. It's your choice. Now I always can add a nice mermaid on the back or a nice sign or anything I like. I can add on here. All right, so cool. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna um, clean up my, my uh, fingers once more. Um, we're almost ready for for the cover, but before I'm gonna grab my white one on, I'm gonna clean up my hands and then I'll get back to you. Okay, I was checking out how it looks on the paper. And it looks like this. I absolutely love it. Now before I'm gonna add it, I wanna do something with it. What I had in mind before, I'm gonna start with this. I am gonna use some, see that white is already getting smoochy already. Now, in your kit, you are going to be found this um, Yupo paper. Yupo, Falant Yupo paper you can't tear. And this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this, or shall I use... Um, I think I'm gonna use this, but it's small. But if I put this, it's only for the spine to protect. So if I cut this down to the bottom, and then this right here, then you will see this, and I don't like that. But if I do this higher, same size as this one, then it's okay. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna check if I have something else for the spine, otherwise I'm gonna use this, but let me check just first. Yeah, I don't have exactly white. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna make this exactly the same size as this one. So that is what I'm gonna do first. 
cut this down so it can dry nicely. So I'm gonna add this on here. Nice in the middle. Yeah, I'm gonna use some tape. Today, the cover. I always want to see how that's gonna look. I don't know. It's, that's the cherry on the cake. I always say that. If you do your cover nicely and when you're satisfied, then the rest will look perfect too, in my opinion. Hi, Han. Hello. Bandun. Kom je mijn gezelschap houden? Ja. Gezellig. Is het lunchtijd? Ja. Is het lunchtijd? Oké. Okay. Gaan we eten dan? <laughs> All right. There we go. Here we go. This not going anywhere. Alright. So as you can hear, it's lunch time. So me and my girl are gonna be having some lunch. See you soon. Bye bye. Okay, what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna make a, a little template that is the same size. Just gonna cut. This piece, same height. Uh, let's cut this at one inch, that's perfect. All right, so this is going to be my template. Let's make it. I want, um, I think six, I think six is enough. All right, so the first one. First, I'm gonna see what the middle is of this. And of course, that's at a half. So, let's make this half. Yes, that's the beginning. Okay, then let's start at the first half and the end half. All right, that are two, and now I want two more. So that means that I um, Alright, let me count. Okay, see? A centimeter, that's, that's, that's easy. Every four. That's one and a half. Let's take one and a half from each. Let's see how that works. That is too much, I think. Or, yep, that's, that's too much. <laughs> Alright, I need four more inside here. I am terrible at this. I know. I know, I know, I know. I am terrible. Six one four. Let me count. Sixteen centimeters and I need four. 
four pieces in here. Three, six, nine, twelve. All right, that's a little more than three. So I think one, one, four. So I'm just gonna try it out, guys. I'm just gonna try it out. One, one, four. One, one, four. And then if I do again a one, one, four. What do I have left then? Two. Oh my gosh, I am terrible. I know. <laughs> gosh, 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 gosh. Now, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to see. Oh, perhaps you are better. You are better than this. I know I am not. If I count the half of this. Six one four. That's three one eight. This is the middle. The middle. Perhaps this is a better way for me. And especially with the inches, I am terrible at that. So it's eight centimeters, and I need two. That means that I need this distance counting in three pieces. So eight in three. Yeah, mm -mm 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 -mm. that's two and a half. What if I do this one, 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 and then I have just a little left? That's better. One, and then this one. Yeah, that's better. That's way better. Alright, so that is what we're going to do. One. Alright, then we need seven. Seven ones. Alright, let's do that. That's perfect. Yeah, seven ones. So I started half inch at the top. And then about one one and a little bit, one and a little bit more inch in between. Yeah, that's perfect. Well, it's not perfect, perfect, but about little millimeters away. All right, so let's grab back my piece. Now I'm gonna make little holes in these and then my template is away. Turn it over on a better side. Okay, that's cool. Now, what I'm gonna do with this? Yes, I am gonna. Now I hope I am far enough. Now, where do I want these? I think on the purple one. Yep, I'm just gonna lay this on here and then I have it all perfectly well. And if you don't like this, you can skip it. You can skip this. Now I'm gonna punch a hole in his complete thing. Is it necessary to clean it every time up? Well, it does. I want to see where I want to 
cut it. Otherwise I don't see the dot. Watch your pinky. I came in between loads of time. these in here. I know these ones are a little bigger. So if you have something where you can make these a little bigger, then I can recommend that you do that. Because normally I will use that little white one for these eyelets, but I love the size of these eyelets. Perhaps next time Oh, it's good. Alright, and then you can punch these in. Yes. Alright, so we need to do this on every single piece. It's handy if you have some tools to do this. But like I said, you don't have to do this. Perhaps you don't like it, perhaps you don't have the tools for it. But at least you have the materials in your kit. So perhaps you have the tools for it. And you don't have to buy especially this, this copper dial. I know in some building shops, house making shops where you can build your own house. They have these two, but then way cheaper. So that's totally up to you. All right, so that is one. Ooh, I like it. And I did it on the wrong side. No way. <laughs> Yes, I did. Oh. <laughs> oh, cool. That's not cool at all. That's not cool. I am going to fix that. But, um, yeah, I am going to fix that. But for now. <laughs> All right, the next thing, what you're going to do is, so the meaning is that we do this exactly the same on here, on here, and on this side. All right, so that is exactly the same thing you need to do. All right, that's it, guys. So I will see you back when I fix this. And... Um, yeah, and then, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven here, seven here, seven there. And it's easy to do with your template. Each time, just take this on here, make the lines, and then perhaps it's good 
to watch yeah I'm just gonna push these each time the same I think that's just because just along the white side yeah that's cool and here too so I'm still on the on the purple one and here too yeah that's what I'm gonna do all right sorry for the mistake <laughs> I hope you noticed that I didn't hear you scream guys you didn't help me you did not help me all right cool see you in a minute <laughs> All right, here we go. Now the meaning is that we are going to attach some ribbon. And I choose white one. Well, first I had another one, but I think this one looks better. Now, before I'm gonna use this, I like a little of a wrinkle in it. So what I do is I'm just gonna it a little bit water that's enough and just rub it in your hands see that does it I'm gonna do exactly the same with the other part I cut two meters of this one so I think that's enough just make a little bowl out of it in between your hands that's that. That's it. All right. Now let's split one piece into. Well, actually, we've done that. I'm not sure. Do I need. Can I make it double? Or can I make it just one way? I think I can make it double. I'm just gonna try it out, guys. And I think I can make it double. So, double. This is double. Yep, this is where I'm gonna start with. So, I'm just gonna see. Make this pointy. Same as shoelaces. We all know how to put new laces in our shoes, I suppose. <laughs> and just cut this off, make two pointy ways that fits in here. Alright, let me put this away, otherwise, it's getting all in the way all right so this is what I want just make this equal like that yep all right now this does not have to be too tight to each other we want the space we can make it tighter when it's going to be in the album then we're just going to overcross it, I believe. No, no, it's from under. What do we want? Let me check. This is from under. Or do I like from above? If I do above, then I think it's, I'll, it's easier for me. To end this, so I am going to see if from above is better. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited! I have no idea. And yes, I did try this out last year, and I did this previously in a journal too, but each time it's different, each time it is different. Alright, and again for this one, take your time. So I hope you can see that, so it's the same thing as shoelaces. So again, I am gonna, well, I don't know which one. From top to bottom. And then... The other one. Oh, 
also. Top to bottom. And these will are two. Make them a little wet. It's easier. Alright. See? So this is how it looks like. And these are pretty far away, but we can tie these up when needed. And so on and so on. but it takes time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so on and so on. Da, 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 da. Cherry on the cake is your album, the cover, it is, your pages can be as night, nice and beautiful, but if the cover is not good, not your thing, then you will say right away, well, well, wait, oh, it is not that good then. But you don't want it. You don't want to say that. You want to say, oh, thank you very much. Oh, I'm just, I'm just brabbling. I'm just brabbling, brabbling. And still, I have no idea when this is coming online. I'm still doubting on. And do I want this right after my last kit? Do I want, I still have my custom made albums that is not online, the owner finally got them, but I'm not sure. So I'm a little confused on which one I want first, I'm always with that. So I have a few few left on my sweet secrets kit mini album but perhaps it's good to do in another one in between I have no clue I have no clue at all all right this is pretty long so I think it's what's not needed to make that too long but but now I definitely know that I could make these nice and double. So that was for me to see how long they needed to be. Alright, now tie these a little bit closer. I don't know exactly how tight, but you always can change that. Here it's way too loose. I don't want that. You can wiggle. You can change that as much as you like. All right. What do you say? And now the meaning is we are not going to tie this up. That is why I like it from top to bottom because I want no tie tie piece on the top that will totally be not nice. So I'm gonna tuck these in right here and make them close when it's ready. All right, so the meaning is that this comes on here, see? And then this comes on its place here. Ooh, and then it looks like this. Oh wow, I like it. That's cool. All right, so let's do the other part. And then 
will make it nice and neat. Cool. <laughs> okay, now let's see if this is tight enough. So we are going to check it out. Check it out if it fits. Alright, so I use... Before I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that, I want to use my clamps again. So I know how it's going to work out, if it needs more space or not. And we can do that later, we can do that, but it's easier to do this right away. When you see that this is tight enough. nice on its spot I think this is almost perfect yep alright so this is how it looks like when it's done cool isn't it oh gosh I love it I love it alright so now before do we want a closure for this one I have no clue. Do we want a closure? Is that needed? Mm. I think this is long. Oh, long enough to tuck this down. So, what do you say? Do we want a closure? You have to think about that before you are going to attach this design. Now, do we want a closure? The reason why I am um, telling you this now is because perhaps it's nice to use this seam binding because we do have something left. We do. And you know, I like that. Let's say I add this underneath here. My nose is a little itchy. Let's say we use that double piece. And we do that under here. Just gonna check. Just check. Alright, now let's say all the pages are in and then we have this on the side so you can, is this too, too girly, too, I don't know, do we like this on this album, I have no clue, is that, this is going to be tucked in so you don't see any fluffy things on the side, you're gonna make a nice hanger on here. Do we need a closure? I don't particularly think that it's needed. Some of you perhaps like that. I don't know. So, but it's possible. So you just saw me how I did that. So you just can grab a double piece. And then you can add this first, before we're going to add this one, in the middle, right here. With a nice glue, tape, whatever. But you do that before you're going to glue this. Alright. I'm still not sure if I'm going to do that. It's possible. Uh, it's a long time that I did some... Um, closures but I think it's too much ribbon so I am not gonna do that but if you like that so that's the option for you all right so all right. Well, let's let's add this on add it on add it on all right now I want to 
want this already. Shall we do shall we do that already or shall we tuck that in with mm, I think it's already pretty good. So I don't think it's needed that we do that later. What do you say? later in but perhaps it's better to do that first okay yeah 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 again I'm gonna take this on here on its place where it should be just like that I want to see that my spine is in the middle and if I see this, it's not. This needs to be a little more this direction. That means that this one can be a little, a little looser. Just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna... See, that's better. So it's now more loose. Yep, now it's in the middle. Now it's okay. I think it is. I think it is. Um, I am not going to put this down just yet. We're going to do that after. Just to be sure. So we can still wiggle, wiggle it just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna attach my hot glue in the electric one. So I'm gonna need this, perhaps. I don't know, perhaps not. I think I do. Oh my gosh, what I do? I have a lot of tools in front of me. Oh my! Let me clean it up just a second. So, we're just going to start with, with one, um, with one, right. Alright, so I'm just going to add some double sided tape, so it attached right away nicely. This one on top, I'm not, so I have a little more space to tuck something in. But at the bottom, I can. Alright. And then here, I also can do some double sided tape. Alright, then at the bottom, we can also some tape and then we can add here some tape and here and a bit on the top are we having fun? And here. And then on here. For the rest, I'm just going to use glue. But the tape will make it easy a bit more to put it on. Now, step by step, we're going to attach this. So 
we lost this piece. Now we know why I have the pink one. That one does not roll everywhere. Alright. In the middle I can use another glue. Um, but for the sides I do like my art glue glue. Quick dry. Pointy nozzle. First part guys, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, everything is tight, little white edge, yep, alright, that's one. way too much glue. I'm gonna remove that in a sec. Add some clumps if you like that, especially on the corners. Alright, cool. So it dries nicely. Alright, so let's flip this over and let's go to the next one. By the way, it's still Corona. Corona. And we are still in the middle of it, but I get the feeling that we are getting every week more and more looser with the rules. And I also see that in other countries coming back. So I hope that the end is coming. I hope, I hope, I hope, because it's terrible that everything going on, alright, now let's see where do I want this, I want this a little lower, there we go, oops, not too tight. Here are the ends right here. These ones need to go that direction. So I can tuck them in soon. Alright. Here we go. This is the spot where I want it. Why well, I'm keeping pulling on that string? I have no clue. Alright, this is good. Yeah. Cool. Now, we will definitely need some clamps for this. So I am. Um, I use some clumps, especially here in the middle. And here at the bottom piece. 
Yep, that's it. That will hold it for now. Cool. Let's go to the other spot. The last spot. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I am. I am so nervous. Cool. This really takes time, guys. It does. But I hope the end results is there for you. I hope this is exactly what you were looking for to do something different. And I know I did this quite a few times now, but perhaps it's the first time for you. So, if it's the first time for you, then I hope this is exactly what you were looking for. Alright guys, again, these clamps are perfect. I love these. It's needed <laughs> to take some time on its place to keep it on its place so yeah but i think the end results will be amazing and we have so much going on oh my god this is not long the end of it no it is not Plenty to do. Shall I put one in the middle? Okay. Yep, that's cool. That is cool. Alright, so now everything is on its place. How does it look? Cool with all the clamps. Now I'm gonna turn this over. And now I am going to work with these. Do I, can I adjust these? And I can. I can. I can make these tighter or looser. I still can do that. I might work a bit with them. Yeah. That clam was going in the way. Right. This is super duper. And I hope I'm not out of the frame, but perhaps I am. Yep. This is it. Put my clam back on. Let it dry. Yeah, cool. All right, now this one. Can I adjust? I think this is already nice and tight, but just in case it's not, I'm just gonna check it in. Yeah, now it's nice and tight. No loose ends. Oh wow. Cool. Alright, now. How are we going to tuck these in? Alright, so let's see. I'm going to unleash these for just a sec. I'm going to put these back on when I'm going to tuck these in. Now, what I'm going to do is... Let's see how uh, the best way to do that is. Well, perhaps I can make them a little shorter. Yep, that's better. Now, 
what can we do? We can tuck these in. Um, I think we have already some glue on here. I don't know. Yeah, here is some glue. Well, if I take that a bit loose, I can tuck this in. That works perfect. Make it a bit loose. Tuck these in as flat as possible. Alright. This too. Perhaps it was better to leave this little piece on top open for a minute, but it was better. That's for the next time. Alright. Alright, now I'm going to use my hot glue. Give it all nice. Yes, cool. Use your clamps so it can be nice and tight. Cool. All right, guys. So that was the thing that I would change. Leave the top open. Not put any um, uh, glue on just yet. Now here is a bit loose, perhaps I can do this in the corner, just here, instead of on this side, and then again use some hot glue and use a clamp on it. Ooh, alright. That goes nice. That goes better. Alright, tuck this in. As far as you can. Use some glue. And the clam will be nice. Okay. That is nice. All right, I will leave this for, not overnight, but I need to go shopping with my girl. Grocery shopping. Um, yeah, I will leave it like this and then I'll come back to you. I will show you how the end result looks for now. But for now, I am very, very satisfied. Alright, so I will see you in just a sec. But I'm first going to do a little bit of grocery shopping. Alright, till next time.